Okay, guys, we're going to finish this reading. This reading is all over the place. Someone is having anxiety because they marry into something for money. And now they're deciding that, oh, Lord, they don't want it. Someone in your family could be talking behind your back, which could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. You're single and you're really in all of this, you're minding your own business, what you've been doing. You've been putting out work, minding your business, loving yourself, focusing on your stability, trying to get yourself out the mud or whatever, because possibly it's, it, it, it seems like I am gaining weight in my boobs then got bigger. I don't even, even like, no, I got the, because mm -mm, it started going up into the shoulder area and it went a little bit. I just get bothered by that. I can feel it. I'm sorry, but I can feel it on my arms. Like my arms sprout some more. They get like bigger and I don't like it. So I got to do something about it. Okay, so I don't like it when I'm feeling too heavy and I really have overdone it for myself. I can take it feeling, you know, thick, a little thick with it, but I can't take it like feeling plopped and I can't breathe. You can feel it. You can see it in my face. You can see it in my arms. You can see it like it's when things start to spew out. I, mm -mm, we ain't going to be able to do that. And it ain't a matter of what nobody else thinks. It's what I think. Because I frankly don't give a damn what people think about me and they can't tell me how to feel about myself. I've always been like this, you know, for forever. I, I, you know, your opinions of me doesn't matter to me. You can say whatever you want because sometimes your opinion can be out of hate or jealousy or you just want to be ugly or you want to hurt someone because you're hurt. So your, your opinion could be oblivious to me like like I really don't give a damn okay what you think about me it's not your job for you to think about me now granted sometimes we do need our feelings hurt and we do need people to tell us a look you know but most of the time like I try to run at my own pace and do things at my own pace and where it's not affecting others. Like if you got somebody out here sleeping with other people with STDs, maybe not even telling folks, spreading them and spreading them wide and doing spell work and being jealous hearted and cold hearted and stealing for money and you know, just own, this is a karmic merry-go-round with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of about eight years worth of bullshit is what I feel and about five years going that way and eight years going that way, which could be eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen years worth of poop that people been sitting up there and doing this really. You know, being overly sexual and stuck and hung in these kind of addictions and celebrities, you know, waiting for people to come with their information and plotting on them to steal off the damn internet instead of being genuine and trying to heal themselves and working together from a genuine space and place like Having integrity, morals about yourself, standards, 
a legitimate love for your own black people. We not getting that no more. So granted, all of this mess right here is going on. So we ain't going to play the games and act like it isn't. But when somebody can come in and speak the truth about it, they're going to be the ones shunned. They're going to be the ones casted out. They're going to be the ones casted down because people don't want to fix this. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to, uh, uh, um, you know, bring this to the forefront. You know, someone's going to have a tower. Someone is a twin flame and they're going into twin flame union and whoever this person is been very well single and may decide to stay single, but they match is here. This person is a legitimate queen or a empress or a king or an emperor. They are on the right path. They get ready to meet up with their new love. You know, and on the internet over here dealing with a bunch of bullshit, like with karmic celebrities that's plotting and stalking and can't even be legitimate to come to the forefront and come to your face and tell you legitimately, well, I think you, you know, and you said this to hurt my feelings. Well, honey, if God told me it about you, I'm going to tell you, I hurt a whole bunch of people's feelings. And I'm sure I'm going to get my feelings hurt. I, I get my feelings hurt actually all the time. You know, I might get out of line. I get out of line every, you know, you know, during different times or whatever, you know, where I got to be put back in my place. But all of this jealousy and wholehearted and family members being jealous of someone that got talents and someone that got giftings to see. And, you know, if God didn't want this person working for him or telling people things he wouldn't give it he wouldn't give it to him to even bring out or know it about you okay so that's where they all messed up and i don't give a damn if they in the church building we don't need that no more because it's more people in the church building that's causing church hurts and doing things to people where people is scared to go amongst these people because these people let these people come in all dirty and filthy and full of a whole bunch of sin and different things and, you know, come in the church building and, you know, may not be dressed so well or they may have a smell to them or, you know, and these people in the church building, they feel that they're too good for these people. They get rid of them quick, fast, and in a hurry instead of being like, okay, if I got all this money to build up this church building, I should have a bathroom with a bathtub. If I'm getting all this money from all of my congregation and these people, I should have a closet full of clothes in my church building where when the poor come in, I can lead them right on, you know, after they hear the word, we gonna do this for you. Or even before they can even begin to listen to the word out of grat gratitude, out of love and care and concern for my brother, for my sister. What I'm about to do is take you back here to the restroom, to our, our clothing closet and where our food club, you know, thing is. And you know, have somebody that's a man and a woman enough to watch this person because, yeah, of course you don't want people on ice just leading them, you know, back there or taking them back there to do these things. And then the person, you take them back there and they steal everything in the dang old restroom and everything and leave out the side door because they on meth or ice. <laughs> You know, so you do got responsibilities here, but people don't want to do the real hard, genuine work that they really have to do when they take that position as one of God's workers. They think it's supposed to be for them to get rich and live in a house on the hill and drive a Rolls Royce with about 10 three, four, five cars and a two-story house and a two-story church building and 
all these people in this congregation, and you know what I'm saying, and a lot of that money is supposed to go back into the field, and you're supposed to use that as you're going and working with these people to help these people build up some type of uh, addiction instead of going and building on to your church building and making it all fancy and dressing up your house with this big old house and these big mirrors and all this big stuff in it, you should be using that money to invest in stuff to help people mentally. Like with their addictions and to bring people back, you know what I'm saying, to help people from the traumas that they're suffering from, to bring them back to their normal mental state. Not that you can bring them fully back to their normal mental state, but these people can be fed, their mental fed into, feed them the right foods, tell them right from wrong, because they almost be legitimately back like a child, like, and they be these, like a lot of these people be like dirty, disgusting, but all of us have dirt on us. All of us is disgusting or been disgusting or lived a disgusting life. So who am I to judge? Then you got people out here that so jealous hearted, they want to spew spell work on you all because of your looks, your your knowledge, your wisdom, how you think, who you are as a person. God was telling me the other day, you got women that are beautiful women. Do you know these women, they seek out other women that they think that they could take a man from or they could take something valuable or something that they think another woman is desiring or loving or caring for a lot. You got disgusting women that don't know their self-worth that will seek you out to take everything you own. They'll take your man, they'll take your money, they'll take your, they'll try to take your giftings, they'll try to take your looks, they'll try to take, they will demolish you and they don't know that it's Satan inside of them that's working them over time to do all of this that they're doing to another individual and it be all out of hurt and pain and them not loving themselves do you know women legitimately do things as such and don't have a remorse bone in their body well I'm going to tell you something I love women that's like that and guess what I'm able to peek them out and see who they are, and, I, and I'm getting chills all over my legs, and I know who they are, I know what they're about, I know what they shoot to do, they want another woman to feel under them, they want them to feel little, they want to hurt someone, they want to make themselves look big, and by them coming in from out of nowhere and taking your husband, your man, everything that you own, your looks and trying to dominate you for some odd reason and make you feel that you are under them or that they are Miss America. <laughs> they will destroy you and it all be Satan working in them. It all be their sickness working overtime in them. And I love women that's like that and I'm, I, I'm like a radar detector when it comes to women like that and whatever the hell they want. I stand, I look right at them dead in the eyes, even if it's on the internet. And you know what? I stand back and whatever they thought that they were taking from me or whatever position they thought they had to make me look under them I moved back and I let them. And I let them take, girl, have it in heaven. Because anything you want, you devil, I don't want it. I don't want to be a part of it. Anything that would even, can't even see clear enough to know 
that you're trying to destroy someone else's relationship, how they feel about themselves, to look to try to make someone else jealous of you, or you be better than them, or anything like that. I don't want any part of it. I get back out of the way and I let the person have it. Like, here you go. Look, I almost just like throw it to them. Like, you want him? You want that? You want that? You want my looks? Oh, you want to do what I'm doing? Oh, you want to take my business or whatever? You want to take the name? You want to take what I'm cooking? You want to take just to show them that they're really not anyone and that I know whatever they're doing, it's going to fail eventually. When you get out the way of it, it's really going to fail for them. Let them have it. Whatever they seem to think. Hold on, guys. But anywho, anything that anyone want to seek out to take from me, I don't want it. I will clearly move and let you have them. I'll let you have the, the, the man. I'll let you have whatever you thought you wanted to do and you, whatever you seen me do because women got it bad and they're devious and they're they don't know their self-worth and they seek out to do all this ugly stuff to hurt other people. So I pretty much let them have it, have the show. They can have the show. They can have whatever they thought, whatever they seen me doing that they feel that they can go do it better than me. Oh, you can have that and you can have that. You can have that and you're still going to be empty and you're still going to hate yourself. And you're still not going to love yourself and you still don't have no natural spiritual insight or growth or you're not healed because if you were, you wouldn't be doing that. Hmm. Okay, so what you got here is a whole bunch of people that worship Satan. You're over here single, working on your endeavors, working on trying to get yourself out the mud, loving yourself, caring about yourself, and putting together whatever giftings, talents you got, and trying to make something shake and move for yourself. And you got a lot of bozos because that's what they are. And they're envy, they're jealous. You got people that got addictions, they're sleeping around, they're having anxiety about your next move, what you're going to do. It's even people in your family. And, you know, if you were, and you could be actually going through a whole nother, another test to do with a lot of chronic people that are having anxiety. These could be wives that have been betrayed by their partners. These could even be women that these guys haven't even married, that want to be married, but 
different people are going into union. You are a queen. You're gonna, you're a twin flame. You know, you got people that's on here. They're still in, but you're gonna be the one that have the new love. You're single. You've been working on yourself. You're probably gonna continue to work on yourself, building up your pinnacles, your stability, get your A game to do with your work. You know, probably study a lot more on that, loving yourself, caring for yourself, nurturing and loving everything around you to do with you, helping others and, you know, but for the people that's plotting on you and prostituting, selling themselves basically to for greed and for money and they're going to be having towers, they're overly sexual, 